So, you clicked on this video because you want to understand how chicken racing works in Like a Dragon Ishin. I'm going to show you how to do that in a quick manner without wasting your time. Head to the chicken racing den in Western Rakugai, then save and walk in. Buy tags if you need them, you'll want at least 13,500, then start playing. Select buy tickets and you'll get a menu with a lot of information. Let's start from the left, skipping bet. The racer column shows the chickens running this race. Each chicken has different patterns and behaviors that make them different from one another, so keep an eye out on one or two that keep winning. Con is the condition of the chicken, which determines if they'll speed up or slow down at certain points in the race. An upward arrow means more likely to boost, indicated by a yellow aura, and a downward arrow means more likely to slow down, indicated by a blue aura. It's useful for gauging who to bet for, but sometimes a chicken with an upper arrow will just decide to slow down, and a chicken with a down arrow will decide to speed up. So you're at the mercy of RNG. Still, it's one of the two best ways to gauge who's going to win. Past results are what the chicken got in the last three races from left to right. For example, little tea cake here with her 2-4-3 means she got second in the last race, fourth in the one before that, and third in the one before that. You can also view the last five placements by selecting any of the top three options in this menu and pressing Y or Triangle. It's good to bet on a chicken that's consistently in the top three, but be cautious of betting on one with a big win streak since he might be at the end of it. The prediction is how well the other players think the chicken is going to do. These players are effectively arbitrary scorings for the chicken, ranked from worst to best as X, Triangle, Circle, and Double Circle. These can be good to kind of base your bets on, but I wouldn't use them as a baseline. The last one worth mentioning is the payout. This is the multiplier that your tags are going to be affected by if that chicken wins. Generally speaking, the lower the payout, the higher chance of winning. You want to use this in the condition as your two baselines for betting, as it'll generally lead to your success. Once you've decided which chicken to bet on, based on the combination of everything I mentioned, press the dividend list option. This opens up a list of all possible bets for how the chickens will place. In order, single is who wins first, quinella is who gets first or second in no order, double exact is first and second in order, triple exact is first, second, and third in order, and quintuple exacta is first through fifth in order. As you'll notice, the quintuple exacta has the highest payout multiplier, so when you bet, you really want to focus on those. Oh yeah, betting. Uh, let's get to that. Now that you're on this list, start betting on every option that has your chicken winning, or getting second in the quinella's case. You can press left to quickly skip to the max bet to make the process faster. Once you get to triple and quintuple exactas, make sure you use the joystick when navigating up and down since the d-pad doesn't let you scroll. Once you've done all that, back out to the first menu. We're going to take advantage of a little exploit here. Go down to the exit chicken race option, press it, then quickly go up and start race. What this does is give you back all the tags you placed down while also keeping your bets in place, effectively making your betting free. If you're a fan of arthritis or just have a controller or program for making macros, you can place a bet on every single option to ensure winning every single time, but I recommend betting on one or two chickens at most. Here's me doing it by hand with three seconds to spare and a doctor's visit in the future. When you finally get a few good wins, head over to the gambling den in Eastern Rakugai with an empty inventory. Here you can buy some weapons in the equipment tab, I recommend the gold pistol, and some extremely useful plays and silver hammers in the tools tab. If you want to make some cash right now, put on the virtuous hood you get from Bob for completing the wanted man missions, fill up your inventory with platinum plates, make sure your virtue acquisition is maxed, and head over to the bond shop just north of here for a hefty profit of money and virtue. Now you can get some good money early on to get you started in your journey. Thanks for watching. Credit to my friend Dante for the thumbnail, and thanks to my friends Kung Fu Gloves, who runs the Yakuza Archive channel, and Feel the Heat for helping with the script. Thank you to RGG Studio for making this game infinitely more grindy, and good luck on raking in racks and racks of Rooster Racing Rio.